Hey guys, it's Park with Getting Started. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie the clove hitch. It's a wonderful knot. Uh, I'm going to tie it for you about four times. The first time normal speed, second time a little bit slow, third time I'm going to make it real slow and hopefully slow it down in post-production. The fourth time we'll turn tie it normally. Then after we've tied it those four times we'll talk about uh, when and where and why we use it and then if you don't mind I'm gonna just run my mouth about stuff that I'm interested in so let me get my camera set up on it just perfectly okay very good guys all right so start off imagine you've got your thing you're gonna tie to just bring your loop over and make an X simple as that don't have to think it through too hard just make an X send your tag in through it now you've got your clove hitch knot Okay, so we're going to do it again a little bit slower. Start off, just throw your line over, pull it back, and make an X. Now send your tag in through the X. Now you have your clove hitch. All right, now, as I promised, the third time, I'm going to do it really slow. So throw it over. I'm just kidding. Now make your X, pull it through. Pretty simple, eh? Clove hitch. All right, and then one more time. Just throw your loop over, pull it up, make an X, send your tag to complete through the X. Okay, there you go. Dress your knot up and there you have it. Okay, clove hitch I learned uh, when I was in Boy Scouts. It's the first knot of lashing. Uh, it's really not all that hard, um, but you, if you learn a whole lot of things all at once, it seems complicated. So I'd suggest just starting off learning it real good and then go on to your lashing. Maybe we'll do some lashing a little later. Uh, it serves the, uh, it's, it's most effective when there is a steady, even pull on the knot. Okay, so if you, let's say, tie it off to a boat and it's loosening and pulling back, then that's not going to be the best use for the knot. Uh, and if it's changing directions, that's not going to be the best use for the knot. For a straight pull, on the other hand, it just does great. So in any case, if you don't mind, I'd like to just talk about stuff that's important to me. <clears throat> um, this is a new channel for me. I've just gotten started. I've taped a few other episodes where I've done knots also. This is the first one that I have done that I've done all by myself and I'm trying to do in one single take. Uh, challenges that I bumped up into, um, using the camera is actually a little bit more difficult than I imagined. Getting from the camera to YouTube, in other words, the production, all kinds of little things get in the way. I don't know if you could tell this, but I just had to shoo a moth off of the camera. <laughs> And a few minutes ago, my neighbor was using a weed eater and there was somebody mowing grass the other direction. So a bunch of little bitty things. Now this is about the third time that I've done the clove hitch video. There's that moth again. This is the third time I've done that clove hitch video. One time the sun was too bright. One time it was too dark. One time I didn't have the camera set in the right direction. So I guess what I'm saying is, is guys, I'm starting off. Have a little mercy on me. And if you're thinking about doing it yourself, it's really kind of fun. I don't know if I'm going to change the world. That's my goal. I want to change the world i want to change my world i want to change the people around me's world i want to change the whole blooming world now it's hard to imagine how you're going to do that with a clove hitch knot but you got to get started somewhere so in any case like and subscribe if you don't mind um one of these days i'm going to have some way to do some sort of affiliate marketing and and help you streamline the process of getting twine for lashing and fishing hooks for fishing and uh, I got some cool stuff that I use to clean up my boat. Maybe I'll have a few little things. Don't have that now. But in the meantime, if you can subscribe and like, and then leave me a comment. Tell me what you're interested in. I do all kinds of crazy stuff around here. So if you got something you're interested in, I'd be glad to uh, consider whether or not I could uh, be, make a video with it. And if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel yourself, let me say that so far I've run into nothing but problems, but it's still fun. All right, have a good day.